Smith, opening statement. Yes, uh, just an exciting time for our team, I would say, to finally get a home game and to get out here in front of a crowd. It's been a year, a year and a half since that's happened. So uh, to turn it on and to be in front of people and you know, getting a little bit further away from COVID and a little bit more sense of norm normalcy, I think was really important for our team to get today. Um, you know, obviously you, you look at every game and you nitpick and you want uh, your team to be the best they can be. Um, so I think if we can get a little bit better start, we're gonna be in great shape going into the future here uh, in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I would just say our, our increase in energy. We had a better coming out into that third quarter, you know, ready to play. I think we were a lot more ready. Uh, we understood what we needed to do to be successful against UMSL. And UMSL is a really tough team. You know, they play in a, in a great league. Uh, I've been very familiar with them, um, obviously, coming from that league. So more than anything, it was just a, a focus and an energy, I would say, going into the second half that got us moving in the right direction. Um, got a few more strings of defensive stops. Um, so that's how you go on scoring runs. You know, you can get stops on the defensive end. That was a big part of it. Okay, and how do you feel about how the game went? Like yeah, like I said, I think as a coach, your coaching staff, you want your team to be perfect. You know, you strive for, uh, for them to be focused, for them to take care of little details, um, for them to finish every layup they get or every shot they get. Uh, and we had some bright spots, we really did. Um, but all around us having a better focus at the beginning of the game is definitely gonna come into play here in the next few weeks. Um, we have a veteran group. We have juniors and seniors that have played college basketball for years. We have a fifth year senior that has played you know, for a while. So having that type of experience in your group uh, is awesome. You know, not a lot of teams have that experience. So um, you know, getting us to a point of, of focus early on in the game um, and, and throughout the game, just just details, small little details that are important, blocking out, um, you know, finishing at the rim, all of that. I think that's going to come into play here coming in, in the next few weeks. Okay, and what things can you say about, like, the other teams? Yeah, I mean, I'm so I said is it, it's they're, – they're from a great league, the Great Lakes Valley Conference. Um, they play in this Missouri area too, so they even brought a good little crowd as well. Um, and they're tough. They're a tough team to – to play against. They have some strong players underneath the basket. Um, obviously, our rebounding struggled a little bit because of their size um, and their ability to push us out. So, uh, you know, they're a great team. They're, they're really well coached. Katie Vaughn does an awesome job. Um, been coaching against her for four to five years, and it's always a struggle. Um, so, I was very familiar with them going into the game. Um, but, but definitely us, you know, getting to a place of more comfort um, and more focus early on in the, in the contest. So. Yeah, I was really impressed. I, I would say, like, with it being a one o'clock game on a Saturday, it's also an exhibition game, not an official game. So to have a good crowd behind us um, and and kind of fueling us in that second half, we had some transition buckets, some some and ones that really got behind the team. Um, and our bench, our bench was really solid. I thought our bench was energized. They were in the game at all times, um, and so we had some great great energy from our bench, great energy from the crowd, um, and just great to play in front of family and friends. It's been so long especially for even some of our local players to have your mom or dad or family and friends right down the street and not able to see you play. Um, so finally to have that and, and to be in front of everyone, uh, it definitely changes things. You play a different style of game when you have a crowd behind you. <laughs> Gabby, kind of fire and all cylinders in your, uh, your first time out. Sort of talk about what it meant to finally sort of be back in um, that sort of I mean, it felt great. I know last season I played half a season, and then I've got my full year here. Um, so I appreciate everything you know the coaches are doing for us. It felt great for me to get on the floor. Coach has trust in me and the team. You know, we're gonna make sure we do the right thing. So it just felt good overall. And coach, you're kind of marrying a lot of veteran players who've been here for a while with a, a good number of newcomers. Um, so sort of talk about how you've been preparing to sort of marry the two together as you're sort of entering 
Yeah, definitely. It's been a, it's been a, I would say a learning experience for everyone. Um, you know, teaching them, seeing how they, they like to be coached as well. Um, but, but having incoming freshmen and transfers join a veteran group, you know, you have to all mesh, you have to find, you know, the right string of people, the right lineups. Um, and so that's why you play exhibitions and scrimmages so you can see who plays well together, who, you know, does things well in certain situations, uh, putting them in the best positions to be successful. Uh, I would say our coaching staff is trying to do more than anything. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a competitive mindset that we're, we're trying to instill in them. Um, obviously, it's a little more up-tempo style, so getting them to play that and play it consistently, um, you know, they're going to see that that's going to be vital in, in our success. You know, you've got a really challenging first couple of games to have you here. What are you taking from the exhibition win here today into this first couple of weeks of non-conference play? Yeah, just a readiness. We've got to be ready to play. You know, when, when the lights go out, when the ball gets tipped up, we have to be ready to play. Um, and, and little details, little things like coming in and subbing in and finding your person, knowing who you're guarding. Um, and so that just takes us coming together, us talking to each other, having great leadership. Um, and that's something I think we'll find in this veteran group. Might take a couple games, but we'll definitely find it. Uh, and so we're excited for the schedule ahead. Um, can't wait to hit the ground running. And we're on the road, so we need a lot of love at home. Feel free to tune in and watch. Yeah, I would say, and Gabby can answer this as well, but the most challenging thing as a coach is like you're, you're on the sidelines and you know, you're trying to help them do everything you'd like them to do. You know, as a staff, you want them to you know, play hard, you want them to run the floor, you want them to rebound. Um, and that's challenging because you know, things happen in the game and you know, it doesn't always happen. So you have to find ways through that. You have to find ways through adversity um, and helping them be as successful as they can. Um, Gabby, I don't know if you have any challenges yeah, you want I to mean, discuss. Yeah, I mean, just as a player, when things don't go your way on the floor, we kind of saw it at the end when we couldn't get, you know, our defensive rebounds or uh, losing our player. But we got to trust, you know, in our coaches, trust the system, trust what we run, and just play hard in the little details. Okay. All right. Thank oh. you so much.